Right now at 10, a look at the same street we reported from live last night with breaking news of a SWAT standoff and a man barricaded inside this home on 5th Street in Struthers. A quick moving 24 hours it's been. The standoff lasted more than 13 hours before coming to a deadly conclusion. Part of 5th Street in Struthers tonight still remains blocked. Good evening, I'm Mandy Noel. I'm Stan Boney. It started about 6.30 last night. A call to Struthers Police about an assault. Police saying a teenage girl was attacked by her mother's boyfriend. It quickly became a standoff, which dragged on. Eventually, it led to gunfire. The turn of events that leads us to right now tonight, keeping law enforcement busy even now, is tonight's top story. 13 hours of negotiations came to a head around 7.30 this morning. It appears that uh, the subject, uh, Brandon Schmidt, um, uh, broke the window out in his uh, residence and pointed his rifle at law enforcement. This is that moment when this red arrow moves back, you can hear the pop of a gunshot and the long range rifle tumbles out of the window. Um, obviously, uh, the loss of life under any circumstances is not the desired result, but that unfortunately is what, what happened this morning. A long night led up to it. Police say 48-year-old Brandon Schmidt lived in this home with his girlfriend, her 16-year-old daughter and 13-year-old son. Their mother wasn't home last night around 6.30. Police say it was an attempted sexual assault. She fought him off. He hit her head and arm with a flashlight. I believe she has concussion and she may have a broken forearm. So there was some considerable, considerable damage to her. Her brother jumped to help her. They escaped the house together. Their mother called police and as they got there, she took her kids to the hospital. A shot was fired when officers went into the house. A standoff ensued. 12 hours of, of active negotiations between the crisis response team negotiators and the the deceased. Struthers Police Chief Tim Roddy says Schmidt seemed irrational, panicked. In the end, they had to act when they say Schmidt pointed the gun out the window at agents and officers. I think as part of our deadly force policy and as a clear and present danger to, to, to local law enforcement and to even other civilians in the area, it was uh, incumbent upon us to um, mitigate the threat. Schmidt was known to Struthers officers already. Brandon Schmidt pleaded guilty to robbing a Boardman bank in 2011. And Struthers police say he pleaded guilty to domestic violence in 2017. They were also called because he was waving a samurai sword on his porch last summer.